Well, the effort to preserve a historic piece of land in Orange County now involves litigation. A civil rights organization now suing Orange County Public Schools to stop the sale of the Hungerford School property. Now, the 100 acres of land in Eatonville was once the site of a school for black children who couldn't be taught alongside white children at that time. News 6's Treasure Roberts is live in Eatonville with reaction from leaders there. Treasure. Matt, Eatonville leaders say if it takes filing a lawsuit to get the school district's attention, they say it's completely necessary. Orange County Public Schools has a big decision to make. It may end with the district selling the historic Robert Hungerford Preparatory High School property in Eatonville to developers. The last 100 acres of land could be developed for commercial and residential uses. I haven't met anyone yet that is in favor of it. They are definitely against losing their history for generations to come. Eatonville Mayor Angie Gardner says the town council voted no on this proposal, but ultimately it's up to the school district that owns the land. It all comes down also to the developers getting their due process. The Southern Poverty Law Center filed a complaint in the state court against OCPS on behalf of the Association to Preserve the Eatonville Community Incorporated. Also known as PEC, PEC's executive director, N.Y. Nathiri, says when the Hungerford High School buildings were demolished, the first red flag went up. That really was the wake-up call. We understood that things were getting serious. Eatonville is the first African-American incorporated community in the U.S. Nathiri and other residents fear the rich history of their town is on the brink of being erased. I really question whether Orange County Public School Board officials actually knew and appreciate the history of the land. Mayor Gardner says she grew up in Hannibal Square, the historic African-American west side of Winter Park. It's now surrounded and overshadowed by new developments. Gardner doesn't want to see that happen in Eatonville. What we don't want is a cancellation of culture. What we want is development that complements who we are in this town and where we have come from. Leaders want to revitalize the community to bring economic prosperity. They say they'd like to use that land to develop to make or build developments that serve residents and bring cultural tourism, heritage tourism. In Eatonville, Treasure Roberts getting results, New Six.